Welcome to PPT Gems. So in today's video, we are going to learn how to create a similar animated coding. So for that, in this blank slide, we are going to insert a rectangle. All right. Okay. So the size of this rectangle is going to be two point five centimeters into two point five centimeters. The shape outline for this rectangle is going to be. This dark grey color and the shape fill is going to be okay. The shape outline, the width of the shape outline is going to be around four and a half point. Okay. Now let's just go to the shape format option. So let's just select the shape. All right, and let's just go to the effect options and let's give the width to three points here and six points. All right. Let's zoom in a little bit so that you can clearly see. Like this. Okay. Now in the next step, we are going to insert the line like this. Okay. From this corner to this corner, we are going to insert one line. This color is going to be exactly the same. All right. And the width is fine. Three four point. Okay. The same way. We are going to give some effect option. So round bevel, three points width and six point height. Okay. So now we are going to press the Control D to make the exact copy of the line. Okay. And then we will just rotate it to ninety degrees, and let's just place it over here. Now by pressing the Control D, select both the lines. Okay. And let's just send them backwards. All right. Now by pressing the Control A key, select everything, and then just press Control G to group everything. Now let's just zoom out a little bit. Now press the Control D to make the exact copy like this. Okay. Now press Control D one more time. Like this. Now. By pressing the Control A key, select everything and press Control G to group it, so that we have one single image like this. So in, now, in the next step, we are just going to go to the Format Shape option. So we'll just click the right mouse button, Format Shape. Let's go to the Effect option. Okay, let's just select this shape one more time. And on the Y rotation, we are just going to move it to seventy degrees like this. Now, in the next step, we are going to insert a rectangle. Okay, let's just insert the rectangle over here like this. For that rectangle, we'll go to the three D format. Okay, but before that, no shape outline and shape fill is going to be the dark grey color. And let's send it backwards. Okay. So width, I'm going to select 20 points, and similarly height will also go for 20 points. Okay. The material, let's just select the special effect, and for the lightning, let's just select this. Okay, and let's just set the angles. Perfect. All right. So similarly, I'm just going to make the exact copy of the rectangle, okay? And I'm going to place it over here, and I'm going to move it like this, okay? This time, the shape fill is going to be no fill, and shape outline is going to be this dark color, okay? Now let's go to the fill option. Let's go to the line option, and in the line option, let's just increase the points. Let's just give it 14 points. Alright, let's just decrease the size of the frame so that it can fit in our holding. Alright, perfect. Let's um, just zoom out a little bit. Okay, and let's just increase its size like this. Perfect. Now let's just send this frame backward. Okay. 
Now the next step by pressing the control A key or by selecting everything we are just going to press the control G to be it. Okay, so now we have a single frame. Alright, now in the next step, that's this very important step, we are going to insert a rectangle. Okay, so here is our rectangle. Let's just place it over here. Okay, let's send it backwards. Let's give it gradient fill. Let's give no shape outline. Okay. And now let's just select this picture by pressing the control C. And let's just paste it over here. Okay. Now just adjust the size of this picture exactly the same as of our frame. Okay. Like this. Somewhat like this. Alright. Now by pressing the control key we are going to select the view rectangle also. And now we are going to crop it. Okay, so now we have this single picture. In the next step, we are just going to press the right mouse button and just select the format, sorry, save as picture option and just save it as picture 3. Okay, so similarly, we are going to do the same step for this picture as well. Okay, now just delete it and let's just remove these extra slides. Okay, now on the slide number 1, We'll just format the background. We'll go for picture or texture fill. Now we are going to insert the picture from the file. The same picture. Okay. Similarly, now we are going to make the exact copy of the slide by pressing the Ctrl D. Okay. And here we are just going to change the background picture. So instead of this, we will just select this picture. All right. Now in the next step, there's this very important step. Let's just insert the shape rectangle and let's just insert some rectangles like this. Okay, and then press the control D to make the exact copy of the rectangle like this. Okay. like this okay now by pressing the control key let's just select all the rectangles that we have inserted okay the shape outline is going to be the new outline for these rectangles the shape fill is going to be the slide background okay and let's let's just send them backwards all right now by pressing the control c we are going to make the exact copy of the rectangles and we are going to paste them on slide number two like this and here also we'll just send them backwards like this and in the rotate option we are going to flip them either vertically or horizontally like this okay so now in the next step to the slide number two we are going to give a transition that is the morph transition all right and let's just have a final flip 